welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into one of the most heated debates in the Linux world. Ubuntu vs Debian. These two giants share a lot in common, but their differences have sparked endless arguments and frankly some major frustrations among users. Let's first talk about the background and philosophy. Let's start with the basics. Debian launched way back in 1993, has earned a reputation for rock-solid stability and a strict commitment to free software. It's built by a passionate community that values control and customization over convenience. Ubuntu, on the other hand, was born in 2004 as a more accessible offshoot of Debian, developed by Canonical. It was designed to simplify Linux for newcomers with a polished interface and regular updates. But here is a catch. This ease of use often comes at a steep price. Now let's talk about the user experience and installation. Ubuntu's installation process is famously user-friendly. The graphical installer, pre-configured settings, and intuitive desktop environment can make you feel like you step into a well-oiled machine. However, Many power users feel that this convenience is misleading. It's frustrating to see Ubuntu makes choices that feel overly corporate, such as the controversial forced integration of snap packages, features that only add bloat but also strip away the freedom that many of us cherish. Debian's installer, in contrast, is far more hands-on. It demands that you roll up your sleeves and configure your system from the ground up. Which is great if you're experienced but can be downright intimidating if you're not. Now let's talk about the software and update policies. Both distributions use the same package management system at their core. But their philosophies couldn't be more different. Ubuntu pushes for the latest software releases every 6 months which sounds great until you encounter an update that breaks your workflow. It's infuriating when you rely on stability and instead get caught up in a whirlwind of unexpected changes. Debian's conservative update approach means you might be working with older versions of software, but the trade-off is unmatched stability, something that indispensably for critical environments even if it sometimes leaves you wishing for newer features. Now let's talk about the community and support. Debian is 100% community driven. It's a labor of love where every change is meticulously tested. Yet this means that if you are not well versed in Linux, you might feel lost without the polished support channels that Ubuntu offers. Ubuntu supported by Canonical and backed by a massive global community, promises official support and a more unified user experience. But the irony is that this corporate direction often results in decisions that irritate long-time Linux enthusiasts. Decisions that prioritizes market trends over the practical needs of advanced users. Now let's talk about the final thoughts. So which one is better? Well, it really depends on what you need. If you are a beginner or someone who values convenience and a modern interface, Ubuntu might seem like the perfect fit until you hit those roadblocks with bloat and unflexible update policies. On the flip side, if you demand stability, full control and aren't afraid to get your hands dirty, Debian is hard to beat. Even if its steep learning curve leaves you frustrated at times. At the end of the day, both distributions have their merits and their flaws. The debate isn't just technical, it's emotional too. I know how maddening it can be when your system either forces unwanted features on you or demands too much from you to get it running. That's the reality of Linux for many of us. Thanks for watching. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. What drives your frustration or passion between Ubuntu and Debian? Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into the world of Linux. Until next time, keep experimenting and stay in control of your system. Peace out.